There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not wish to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother, and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Penumbra Overture by Frictional Games. And it is the first of the Penumbra series that they released a pretty long time ago, actually. I don't know, it's been definitely a few years ago, but I've been interested to play this game for quite a while now. Um, basically, this game came before Amnesia, and I don't think they were as well known back then as after Amnesia, especially since everyone and their dog pretty much recorded the game on, and put it on YouTube, so there you go. So, I just kind of play through the game. It's entirely blind once again, difficulty is on hard, I don't know what changes that will actually make. Um, there's a few things, oh, apparently... I can choose here as well. But there's a few things that in this game that are different in Amnesia, like when you're in darkness, you don't get scared or weird sanity effects and stuff like that. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see what's going to happen. My story began in February, year 2000. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Sounds pretty interesting so far. Let's see what we're going to see after a fairly bland loading screen, to be honest. I quite like that in Amnesia, actually, that all the loading screens were essentially just, um, well, little bits of pieces of lore, really. Uh, using left mouse. Oh, wow. Okay, so you move... Okay, no. For a second, I thought you moved the camera around by holding left mouse button, but I guess you just have to click once and that makes the message go away or something? I don't know. Whiskey. Empty. Shame. I wonder if you can still throw... Okay. Yeah, you can still throw things. Whoops. <laughs> the fog closed in on us almost as soon as we left port. I haven't seen any landmarks for ages now. I don't know how they're managing to navigate. It'd... I'd be as good as lost at sea if I was on my own. Not a th thought worth thinking. It's been a while since I can actually read, so there you go. I'm just going to throw stuff around the room. Nothing's going to stop me. This window is strong. I wonder if this book says anything. A good scientist always keeps a pen and paper in handy, just in case. Oh. 
Okay, so we have a notebook. I think I'll left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It can be opened using my left mouse on it, holding the button down and then moving the mouse. Uh, always a little bit awkward when tutorials tell you to press certain buttons. That might just be me, but it always seems a bit weird to me. Uh, bag. I cannot investigate the bag. Sadness. This coat looks really flat. I would not wear that coat. Probably not very warm. Put that over there. Oh. I do like that you can still move everything around pretty much. Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. They must eat and sleep and, well, do everything else in this one room for weeks at a time. But yeah, that's one of the things I definitely enjoyed in Amnesia. That you can just move everything. And apparently there are... Being... This is really hard to read. I'm sorry, fish. You will never get details about yourselves. It's a rickety wooden desk. I can get that drawer open if I just... Yes, okay. Torch. Oh. Good thing I remembered to bring a flashlight. I called it a torch earlier, but now I'm calling it a flashlight. Shame it's so old. It drains a couple of batteries in an hour. Oh, well. Tab, shortcut key F, like in amnesia. <laughs> now, where's that emergency glow stick? Should be in a locker keys in my inventory. Okay. wonder if I can get this chair out of the way. Open the chest. You never know when you need the chest. Some whiskey. Is this whiskey empty as well? Uh, yep. I it is now! Oh, man. I really have to get used to these controls again. Uh, ooh. Hmm. This looks like something I will need later. I will put it here in my handy lamp. Ooh, this shadow looks amazing. It looks a bit weird, actually, but... I don't know. I quite like the way it looks there. So there you go. Rotate. Oh, man. Okay, so that's different. Uh, well, is there a rotate button in this game? I don't actually know. We will find out soon enough as we play more of this game. Uh, okay, I think my... What did I do? Okay, if you press R, then apparently you go into weird push things mode rather than just looking around to... That's kind of interesting. Anyway, um, I saw a letter here. Perhaps I should leave the fisherman some privacy. Nope. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in a chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board, taking shifts because of it. Is it no way to get your rest, but what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Hendrickson in the village have asked me to see if you're coming by any trout. I s but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you've come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. Fisherman's wife love letter. That probably was that wife probably doesn't have a voice quite that heavy, but you never know. You never know. I'm certain this map's good decades or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Yay! Anyway, I had a key, supposedly. Uh, drag, right click, double click, double click. It's double click, you guys. That will get us further. I wish I could interact with this coat, it's bothering me. Open. Could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access it through my inventory or with the shortcut key G. G for glow stick. Amazing. I really like the lighting effects in this game. Like, wow, these shadows occasionally a bit big and weird when they start going through things. But, like, oh, I I like it. I like it. Even though it's a shadow. Yeah, the shadow does look a bit weird here and there. But it looks... I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Extra battery to bomb flashlight. So, basically... Instead of a lantern, we have a flashlight. Instead of oil, we have batteries. I am okay with this. As I stepped off the boat, setting out onto the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first. 
but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after and knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for my shelter. It has a lot of weird commas in the text in this game. It's... I don't know. It feels weird. So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Where am I? Uh, shift is run. That's good to know. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is that some kind of animal in the distance? Uh, I don't see any animals, so I'm gonna say it's probably wind. Oh, shelter! What in the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Looks frozen. Shut! Need something to break in. Get a barrel, maybe? Do I have anything in my inventory? Uh, notebook. I have a potlock, but that's not really gonna help me, is it? Uh, God. Ah! Okay. I don't think I can move this at all. Must break ice, but with what? Okay, I'm gonna break with the padlock. Price, what am I thinking? Uh, break with the flashlight, maybe? No, I can't. Ah, that's unhelpful. Can I do anything with anything here? Like, oh my god. I think I'm, wow, this is good. It's already starting off so well. I'm just gonna be dead before I even reach any gameplay, pretty much, other than walking around and. Pretty much doing a tutorial. Can I use any of these rocks? I can use a rock! Yes! Throw the rock. Oh man, I'm already close to death. Whoop. Oh, uh, don't kill me! Okay. Spitting around slowly. Okay, open. Yes! I will live! I don't know what the text at the bottom said because I was a little, a little bit preoccupied for some reason. Don't really know why, but you know. There was just something that felt a little bit more important for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on here now. Should I use my glow stick? No, I can't use my glow stick. Someone talking. I could have sworn I heard talking a second ago. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. Something, something. The text went away too quickly. Uh... I should have known that a rusty old ladder wouldn't hold my weight, but I didn't have any choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer that cold any longer. What happened to the rusty ladder, though? Like, it seemed like it broke off, but it doesn't look like any part actually fell down. Uh, that's a bit, a bit weird. Oh, well. A heavy-looking wooden barrel. Could be anything inside it. Bruh. Ah, man, these things are heavy. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? I wonder if I can break these barrels somehow. Oh, is that a stick? A steel rod. Let's see if I can use the steel rod on barrel. I need to start thinking straight. I am thinking straight. I'm using my special tactics of glory. Oh, hello. Emergency. This is getting really annoying. Why am I so close to death? Well, because I was in freezing areas, I guess. Exit procedures, and the procedures cannot really be read. So that's already a good start to our adventure, I'd say. Can I do anything with this? Yes, this will be my breaking stick. It is not really... If there's something inside this barrel and I won't find it, then I'm not playing this game right. But it doesn't look like it wants to be broken. The physics feels slightly different than in Amnesia as well. Like, I'm just going to be comparing this to Amnesia all the time because it's basically made by the same people. Um... But yeah, everything feels a little bit more floaty. It doesn't feel like when you move up, the item you're holding instantly moves up as well, like it did in Amnesia. So, I don't know. It's probably going to take some getting used to it. What do we have here? Flare. That could be good. Uh, I have no idea what this says. Oh, please. It's blinking less quickly now, so that's good. Uh, t I can't read this. Someone can read this for me. Three, two, seven, eight, seven, nine. Maybe I need to remember that. Maybe I need to get this flare from behind. This thing. Also, an interesting thing that if you're really covered in darkness, like when you're ducking in darkness, everything will go blue. And I think that tells you that um, you're actually in darkness. So that's a good way of telling, at least. Wooden door. I hope it's open. It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Oh, no. This is a basic wooden door, where I don't hope that it's open. This door doesn't need to be open, for my taste. I wonder, actually, if um, I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Yeah, I guess, uh, slowly but surely, you do get a little bit better. It's a 24-hour ration pack. Long past its sell-by date. Oops. Yummy. 
Oh, what? There's something written on the back. I wonder if you can rotate items in this game. Mm, looks to be just numbers. Not really interesting. Hammer! Yes! I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. Uh, I can make a back swim by pulling the mouse right and then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. Okay, so basically move it like a hammer. I think this is just another ration pack again. Yep. Another ration pack. Lots of ration packs. I was going to say, I'm kind of expecting to die more in this game than I did when I was playing Amnesia. Because apparently there's sort of a combat system in this game, sort of. I guess with, like, the hammer. Um, that's what I've heard, at least. So, I don't know how combat-y it is, or if it's, like, hard at all. But it sounds a bit different, so who knows what's going to happen. The wooden shelf is slowly falling apart. I'm going to have to... Okay. Can I... Okay, I'm actually going to quickly get my hammer out. Okay. Die. Fall apart, you poke. Wow, this is the best way to use a hammer. This, re this feels really clunky. But, you know. I will live with it. I will break the things I'm probably supposed to break. This hole's been boarded up a long time ago. The wood looks pretty soft now. Yes, yeah, soft is the word. I would. I have a hammer. There we go. That was a strong piece of wooden barring going on right there. Ugh. But it's okay. I survived, and I truly want to live another day. Uh, does this pass split? I don't like splitting paths. It means I have to run back a lot. Uh, I guess it does split a little bit. Can I get up here? Actually, I think it goes in a circle. Uh, does it go in a circle? It goes in a circle. I guess I don't have anything to worry about. Exploration complete. Let's continue through the passageway. This hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted me wanted to keep people out. Or in. Ugh. This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Don't worry, I have a hammer. Operate! 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 Stab! Okay, this is not operating anything. Can I use this steel rod on it? That would make sense. I made sense, you guys! Did I actually gain health? Because I don't think uh, it's flashing anymore. I wonder if the flashes, the amnesia flashes, I'm going to call it. No wonder I couldn't open that door. Uh, are to regain your health rather than your sanity in this game? I think regaining your health was kind of... I don't even remember how... Ugh. Well, thank you for ruining my story, Mr. Rude Punchy Punchy Man. That's not a nice thing to do when someone's talking. I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. Actually, I wonder if I put this thing on here and then start fiddling with this thing. Ooh, that works differently than I expected. This is my safety barrel. I'm using it for the say. Oh, okay. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. That's like five commas in that sentence alone. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Ugh. I jotted down a note just in case. Really? What is in this note? That's the love letter. Uh, that's the one I've already read. The entrance to the cave has caved in. Whoa. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. Good. If anyone or anything hears me, I, it'll, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll, I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Well, this is the blue tint he was talking about, so... 
Yeah, I'm gonna read this. The entrance of the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. Well, probably. Otherwise, this will not be a very interesting game. I'm trapped. I need to get out. Yeah. I'm actually kind of curious. How does the saving work? I guess it works the same as in Amnesia, that it just auto saves all over the place. But I don't know. Heavy, but I could lift it. Could do a lot of damage to anything underneath it. Hmm. Oh. Ah, that's just a spot. It's not some sort of hidden thingy. I wonder if this is a hidden thingy. No, this is an invisible wall. Uh, yeah, that, okay. I guess we're not going there. No secrets over there. There's just a wall. This could be a decoy, I guess. I don't actually hear anything, though. So, like, I don't know what I should be looking out for, I guess. Hmm. This is a map. Where am I right now? Oh, I guess I can't go into blue mode when I'm standing up. It kind of set that, I guess. Uh, so this, I, oh, that's my location. Okay, that's where I am. I'm in a little circle in the middle over there. So there's the office, explosive storage. Storage is always horrible um, in any game, really. Just any horror game with a storage area is just going to be a sad moment in time. But I'm kind of tempted to go to the office, I guess. Um, so I just follow the left wall. I think if I just follow the left wall throughout this entire area, I should be fine to go where I want to go, but... If there's anything that's gonna be scary and stuff, then I might be in a bit of a pickle. Can I still lean? I can still lean with Q and E. Good. Uh, is there anything on top of these boxes? Can't climb things. That's kind of sad. I like games where you can climb things. Like Thief. That was a fun game where you could climb things. I like climbing. Climbing. I'm just saying random words. I'm not quite as scared. Storage room, so I guess that is indeed... I'm going in the right direction. It's going to be really, really cautious. Make sure that nothing's going to hurt me. A large wooden box. I figured this out myself, but the game told me as well. I uh, guess that's another rock. So I can throw that at people if... Actually, can I throw this thing? Okay, this looks pretty throwable. Uh, probably a good idea to test that out before I start doing things. Office. Okay, loading. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything scary in the office just yet. Uh, there's document. So much history in this place. Tied up in words and left to decompose. Ugh. So much history indeed. Look at all these piled notes. Uh, can I do anything with this? Yes, I can. Let's see if there's anything inside home. Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Can I move this thing in its entirety? That would be nice. Doesn't look like a can though, which is kind of sad because there might be something inside this thing and I want it, but I can't open it. Urgh, maybe I can break this thing, like if I just pull it fast enough. Bah! No, doesn't seem to work. What do we have here? A bottle of Backstrain might come in handy. What is Backstrain? I have no idea. Uh. Okay, I guess it's something I can use on something. So, this is a desk. There you go. Move chair. Open everything. <gasps> batteries! Yay! I'm not really sure how necessary batteries are in this game, though, because even when you're in the dark, everything is pretty visible so far. So, I don't know. Maybe it gets really dark later in the game, but so far it's been pretty light. Oh, that's one of those things again. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, but I know this man before me is Howard. I call him Father. 